Hey guys, here's a fun math problem. A box has red balls, red cubes, blue balls, and blue cubes. There are twice as many balls as cubes. There are twice as many red things as blue things. There are eight red balls and three blue cubes. How many red cubes are there? If you want to try this on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. Let's focus on this first sentence. It says a box has red balls, red cubes, blue balls, and blue cubes. Let's say there's A red balls, B red cubes, C blue balls, and D blue cubes. Now let's focus on the second sentence. There are twice as many balls as cubes. So this is what it would look like as an equation. The number of balls is equal to twice as much as the number of cubes. The total number of balls will be the red balls plus the blue balls, so that's going to be A plus C. And the total number of cubes is going to be the red cubes plus the blue cubes. That'll be B plus D. And then we can copy the rest down and clean this up. Now let's focus on the third sentence. There are twice as many red things as blue things. This is the equation right here. The number of red things is twice as much as the number of blue things. And the red things are going to be the red balls plus red cubes, so that'll be A plus B. And the blue things would be the blue balls plus the blue cubes, so that'll be C plus D. And then we can copy this down and clean it up. So now let's focus on this fourth sentence. There are eight red balls and three blue cubes. Well, the red balls is a here so we can just say a equals eight and for the three blue cubes we can just say d equals three and then our goal is to find out how many red cubes are there since we know what a and d are let's update these equations a is equal to eight so we can change this a and this a both into eight and then d is equal to three so both of these d's can become three and then let's copy down everything else so for this equation on the left hand side, let's copy down the 8 plus C. That's going to be equal to, and this 2 needs to be distributed, 2 times B, which is 2B, plus, and then 2 times 3, which is 6. And then for this equation, it's also 8 plus B, and that's going to be equal to the 2 distributed to both of these. 2 times C is 2C, plus, and then 2 times 3 is 6. And let's get the C alone on this equation and the B alone on this equation. Let's subtract 8 from both sides of both equations. The 8 minus 8 cancels, so we're left with C equals, let's bring down the 2B, and then 6 minus 8 is negative 2. And on this equation, 8 minus 8 cancels, so we just have B equals, bring down the 2C, and 6 minus 8 is negative 2. So we have C equals 2B minus 2, and B equals 2C minus 2. The question up here is asking how many red cubes are there? We want to solve for the red cubes, which is B. So we want to solve for this B right here. So let's copy this down and let's put this C inside of very large parentheses. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to substitute this 2B minus 2 in for C. So now we have one equation in terms of B, so let's solve for B. So we can bring down the B equals, and then we'll distribute this to 2 times 2B is 4B, and then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then we can copy down the negative 2 and bring it over. So we can bring down the B equals 4B, and then minus 4 minus 2 is the same thing as minus 6. Now we have B on both sides of the equation, so let's move one of them over. Let's subtract 4B from both sides. B minus 4B is negative negative 3b equals, and then 4b minus 4b goes away, and we can just bring down the negative 6 and smush it over. To get this b alone, let's divide both sides by negative 3. The negative 6 divided by negative 3 is equal to 2. So we have b is equal to 2. Well, b was our number of red cubes, so we know we have two red cubes. Let's make it bigger and put a box around it. And two red cubes is the answer to our question. How exciting.